for another adventure with Blod the Body. We're starting to know Blod inside out now. But has Blod always looked like this? Has she always been this size? How old do you think she is? Let's have a look at some old photos. How different is she to the Blod we know today? Can you describe her? Oh, I'm fat there. Oh, dear me. Oh, look at my hair. <laughs> oh, clap hands. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Have you got a photograph album or a family album? I bet you've changed since you were a baby. In what ways, do you think? Think about how people change as they get older. One thing is certain. We all start off as babies. Welcome to the world, a brand new baby. This baby boy had been growing inside his mother's tummy for nine months. And the mother's tummy had been growing too. The baby was tucked up inside, nice and warm and safe, until it was time to come out. Um, yes, excuse me. Lord, what do you want? I just wondered about food and oxygen. The baby was growing, so it must have had food and oxygen. How did he get them? Oh, look, there he is. Lord, have you got something to tell us? Oh, okay. I may as well. I'm going to have a baby too, in seven months. Great! Congratulations! So there's a baby growing inside you now. <gasps> I better be careful. Yes. Think about blood. Where does the food she eats and the oxygen she breathes go to in the end? It all goes into her blood and is carried around the body. Here's a picture of the baby inside blood. See that tube? When the baby is growing in her tummy, he'll get his food and oxygen into his blood from Blod's blood through this tube. It's called the cord. This lady is going to have a baby in about four to five months. And this is how her baby looks now. You can see the cord here too. So the mother must really look after herself when she's pregnant. Whenever she eats something, some of it will reach the baby's blood. See if you can work out what this pregnant lady should be eating. Is that going to be good for baby? What about this then? Anything we eat or swallow could end up in the blood. So what about medicine? Mothers can choose what they eat and drink. Babies inside mum's tummy don't have a choice. They have to take whatever comes in their blood. So mum chooses healthy foods and doesn't take medicine unless the doctor or chemist tells her that it's safe. How about designing a meal for blood? Write down what you think she should eat. And what about oxygen? Well, the oxygen from the air that mum breathes is carried to the baby along the cord too. What should she be careful about? After the baby is born, the first thing that happens is that the cord is cut. This doesn't hurt at all. The knot left behind becomes the tummy button or navel, just like the one you've got. The baby isn't getting food and oxygen from the mother's blood anymore. What does that mean? Well, now the baby has to breathe for himself. He takes his first breath of air. And now the baby must eat his own food. The first food that babies have is milk. Mothers can give milk to their babies. The baby knows how to suck it from the mother's breast. Some babies have milk from a bottle. Why do you think babies can't eat bread or a piece of apple straight away? What's the first thing that Blod does with her food after she's put it in her mouth? She chews it up with these, 
her teeth, so that the food is small enough to be swallowed. Small babies don't have any teeth, so they can't chew. Teeth start to come when the baby's about three months old. And then in a few months, the baby will be ready to have some other foods with her milk. But it has to be smooth, no lumps. At about eight months, the baby can start with some small lumps. And then she'll get better and better at it as she grows. Baby's first teeth are called milk teeth. You may still have some milk teeth. Have a look at them. As your mouth gets bigger, the milk teeth will be too small. So bigger ones grow and the milk teeth come out. It's important to clean your teeth regularly. After breakfast in the morning and last thing before going to bed at night. And it's important not to eat sugary food too often. Well done, blood. Glad you're taking my advice. Oh, I've been really looking after my teeth. Okay, so you just needed reminding. Soon, you'll be looking after someone else's teeth as well. We need to look after our teeth straight away, as soon as they start to grow, so that they don't have a chance to go bad. But babies need help. You have to brush their teeth for them, if they let you. We don't need help. You and I, and blood, can choose to look after our own teeth. Richard, what are you doing in there? I'm brushing my teeth. Richard, I want to go to bed, but I can't go to bed because I haven't cleaned my teeth. I'll be out in a minute. <sighs> Stop moaning, Catherine. I just want to clean them properly. At last. Richard, you've left the top off the toothpaste again. Oh, no. Dad! I want to brush my teeth. Catherine, you should be in bed by now. Dad, I'm trying to get to bed, but I can't get to bed because I can't clean my teeth. Catherine, you've left the top off the toothpaste again, haven't you? Why do I always get the blame? Choosing the right food keeps our teeth healthy. But why else is it important? Oh, well, here we are again in Blod's stomach. Isn't that right, Blod? Just you be careful in there. You made a terrible mess last time. I've just popped in to see what you had for breakfast, actually, Blod. Oh, look! I've just found your breakfast here in the balls. And here comes another one. Whoops! Oh! Whoa! Whoopsie daisy. Oof, that was a heavy meal, Blood. I'll get you back for that one. Oof. Oh, Blood. Look at this. Oh, biscuits and chocolate for breakfast. Call yourself healthy? Oh. Mm. We need food to grow. Bones have to grow and skin. What else has to grow? Hello, Health visitors come and see new babies Hello. to check that they are growing properly. Has he been feeding well? Yes, very well. And you're still breastfeeding still him? Breastfeeding, yes. And you've started a little bit of solid, you said? <clears throat> yes, a little bit of rice, baby rice in the morning. Right. And oh, some pureed fruit in the afternoon. Oh, that's fine. He seems to be quite happy on yes. that. Then I'm not sure about lunch. He's no, if he's quite happy with what he's having at the moment, then there's no reason to no. give him the third meal. He'll no. soon let you know if he wants some more anyway. Oh, yes, probably. And we'll see what you weigh now, is it? If you take his nappy off oh. and I'll get the scales ready. Mm -hmm. Come on then. Right, if you lift him in and we'll see what you weigh today. Weighs 6.16 kilograms, which is a nice weight gain from last time. And we'll see what your length is now, is it? <laughs> see if you've grown as well. If you put him on the mat, we'll see how long he is. Oops. Mm -hmm. Now, if you put his head right up at the top. There we are. Let's put you right at the top. And if you put one hand just to make sure his head doesn't wriggle down, so we make him much longer. <laughs> And 
which is 63 centimeters long. That's lovely, and we'll measure around his head. Two centimeters. Right, so if you'd like to put the nappy on before we have an accident. Yes, just in case. There we are. Well done. Well done. And I'll plot his measurements on the graph. And as you can see, he's grown nicely since the last time. His yes. weight is growing nicely up the natural curve and also his length and also his head circumference, so he's growing nicely according oh, to what we'd expect from his age. Okay. We'll call again and see him in a month, and we'll weigh you again in a month, is it? I'm sure you will have grown again. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yes, you bet I will. Do you measure how tall you are sometimes? If you want to grow, you need to eat. If you want to be healthy, you have to choose the right food. Babies don't have a choice, but you do. Why else do you need food? What do these people need to be able to do all these things? That's hard work for babies. Yes! You need energy to do all these things. Think about the foods we should choose to help us grow and keep the body healthy and to give us energy. Make a list of what you eat today. What will you choose? Too much of the wrong thing like biscuits and chocolate for breakfast, blood, could make you fat. <laughs> Remember what this is? That's my heart, pumping away all day long and all night long, every year of my life. It pumps blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen. And then the blood with the oxygen in it comes back into the heart and is pumped all around the body. Do you remember why? So that the oxygen and all the useful foods like vitamins and protein get to all the important little places. This heart has to work really hard. How can we keep our heart healthy so that it's still going strong when we're much older? Choosing healthier foods and not smoking helps. And exercise.
exercise is good for the lungs, too. Here are blots. Let's have a look at the map again, shall we? There we are. There are two lungs with lots and lots of air sacs where the oxygen gets into the blood. Babies' brand new lungs are nice and clean and healthy. How can we keep our lungs like that? Remember what we found in Blood's lung? Brown, horrible, gooey tar? Ugh, disgusting! Blood, have you been smoking again? You must be joking. What do you think I am, stupid or something? When I saw that awful mess in my lung, I gave it up, and I wish I'd never, ever started. Well, I must say, it smells much nicer in here now. Thank you, Blood. I didn't do it for you. I did it for me and the baby. It's important that babies are kept away from the smoke. And very important that children should never, ever start to smoke. <sighs> clean heart, clean lungs, clean teeth. Why do you think it's important to keep clean? Babies can get into a terrible mess, and of course, they can't wash themselves. Someone has to make sure a baby is clean. And stay with little babies every second. As we get older, though, we can decide for ourselves when we should clean up. Growing up means doing lots of things for yourself and looking after other people. Can you spot trouble? Oh, Grandad could fall. Electricity is dangerous. And what if he put those marbles in his mouth? Well, here I am, right in Blood's control center. Remember this? This is the most important place of all, the brain. The brain is like a computer. It gets messages from your ears, your eyes, your nose, your tongue and your skin. And then it decides what to do about your life and your health. Every one of us is special. We're all different. There's no one else in the world like you. We all make decisions as we grow up. Think about how special you are. Think about the choices you have to make about eating, breathing and enjoying life. And think about helping other people make good choices. Well, I hope you enjoyed your journey through Blood's body as much as I did. You're going to miss me when I've gone, Blood. You think so? Well, just a little, perhaps? Well, it's not only you inside me now. There's a baby growing there, too. Oh, yes. I'd better leave you in peace, then. But look after the baby, Blood. You never know. I may well come back in to check. Goodbye, then. And don't forget to think about being what, Blood? Healthy! Now that I am tiny, just think where I can go. I must visit every corner till it's time for me to grow. The stomach and the lungs, not forgetting the heart. Large and small intestine, I can get to every part. Clean blood's teeth, lie on her tongue. Crawl in her food pipe, lounge in her lung. Swim in her blood, have a peep at her brain. I'd love to look around in here again and again. Study her senses, taste, touch, smell. Find out how she hears, how she sees as well. Thank you, Blood, for letting me come in and see and find out what it's like to be... healthy. If you'd like an...